Because we're going to be blown away to know that we had this power and didn't do nothing with it. You don't have to fear, neither worry. Every measure you give for the full focus and the pure right to serve God, that is fulfilled in destiny. That is fulfilled in time. That completes shifts of divine cycles. So, if you are attempting to serve the Lord, do not be disorientated and do not fret. Every ounce you give to Jesus, purely to him, as if, I just, you know, I want to be a better person. I want God in my life for too many years. I haven't, I realize now how selfish I've been. That is so powerful. And it is those things. It's not you. You get to the point of the ministry where you think it's all about you doing big things. It's the fact that you recognize you need God and you're searching a relationship for him, not how perfect you are. That is the movement and the cause where we acquire him. So, this is the last recording until I start my vehicle and I return to my sanctuary. But I wanted to inform you that God is with me. Picking up on every raindrop that come stronger and stronger into the essence of this wind I find a stronger surge in the depths of my words I find a greater meaning in the extent of my reach I find a greater height and letting everything go in allowing vulnerability and things that discomfort me to rip, penetrate, and pierce through with a accuracy and a focus yielded in the character and the attribute of my Lord and my God and my Savior. So, I begin to expand in these regions. And this expansion gives me territorial rights and positions in these spheres of influence, in these gates of opening, in these governmental regulations, in these keys, in these scrolls, in these Philippians, in these people and places, in their heart, in their mind. And so as this power combines together, it will shatter regional principalities. It will cut the cord of where the initiation took place by a verbal devotion so a deceased devil worshiper, those have been passed down to somebody to take the stand. But at a youthful stage, you present the gospel, you present Jesus in a much more way. And your influence meets him in that young stage. So he gives up serving the devil. And he comes because I don't care if a person can get so deep and it becomes more difficult. But in the early steps, if you can strike them, if you can be more authoritative towards them, in certain deeper stages, you gotta be more peaceful depending on the scenario. And so if we really wanna reach people, we got to know when and how to go in violently. And there was a certain energy of God that you can tap into that's all about winning souls and it was the people that tapped into such things that had such encounters that caused them to surpass death caused them to walk in a place with God that is unimaginable So I want you to know Jesus is on the throne and is the throne. He is the holder and upholder of life. So it is those hands you want to touch. 
and you want to be intimate with those hands. Because that's what's going to uphold you when the storm comes. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm out.